Well, congratulations. You have made it to day four of your fast. We are so proud of you. You know, I've had the privilege of being a partner at Elevate Church for the last 10 years. And if you were to ask me one thing that I've learned in the last 10 years, I would tell you that I have learned what it means to be God's friend. When you think about friendship, what comes to mind? Hanging out, having fun, celebrating life events together. What about crying and grieving? Friends go through everything together. They share everything together. They talk about everything together. One of the greatest privileges that we have as Christians is the privilege to be able to talk to God freely in prayer. That in every season, no matter what we go through, we can talk to God about everything. Did you know that the Word instructs us to pray? There are over 385 references to prayer in the Bible. That's at least one time for every day. That tells me that every day there's something to talk to God about. Are you feeling weak? Pray. Are you feeling stressed out or anxious? Pray. Are you, do you need advice? Pray. Whatever you go through, even if everything is going wonderful, pray. The same way that I can speak to my friends, I can speak to God. Jesus says in John 15, 15, I don't just call you a servant because a servant doesn't know everything his master knows, but I call you my friend because I tell you everything that I hear from my father. So God is saying to you today, would you come and talk to me? Would you come and be with me? I want to tell you the things that I know. I want to give you the things that I have. I want to celebrate all of those exciting things in your life. And I want to go through even the hardest times with you by your side, but with me by your side, if you would let me. So today, as you're walking through your fast, as you're choosing to put your flesh down, I want to encourage you, don't forget to pray. Pray about everything. Our goal is to come out of this time of prayer and fasting closer to God than ever before, to hear his voice more clearly, and to have strategy for the coming year ahead. I want to leave you with Proverbs 3, 6 from the Passion Translation. Become intimate with him in whatever you do and he will lead you wherever you go. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you that we are your friends, and I thank you for every person watching this video that they have been chosen by you, and that during this time, they're gonna be closer to you than ever and know you personally as their friend. In Jesus' name, amen.